Now it is my honor to introduce a very special guest joining us this morning. As most of you know, Speaker Bonham has spent 22 years as our state representative and has always been an advocate for teachers and public education. When he became Speaker of the House before this last 86 legislative session, he immediately announced, immediately announced, school funding was his top priority. And that the time is now. There were many skeptics who did not believe school finance could be appropriately addressed. We all remember the strategic and intentional attacks on public education in previous sessions. Skeptics said, we have the same governor, we have the same lieutenant governor. There had been a huge division between the Senate and the House in previous sessions. How in the world is Speaker Bonnet going to get school funding changed? He continued with his mantra, the time is now. He showed incredible leadership, bringing Republicans and Democrats, senators and House members together to get done what had not been done in the last hundred years, improve a broken school finance system. Speaker Bond proved that the time certainly was now. The Senate's entire tone towards public education flipped 180 degrees. House Bill 3, known as the Texas Plan, was passed with overwhelming support. House Bill 3 lowers property taxes. And VISD property taxes here in two weeks are going to be lowered by seven cents. That is incredible. It provides over $4.5 billion more additional funding for public schools in the state of Texas. It decreases recapture payments, or Robin Hood. And, and as you know, that is particularly important in VISD. Under the old law, before House Bill 3 was passed in May, we were projecting to send over $50 million back to the state under recapture. Under House Bill 3, that number has been reduced by over $20 million. We're, we're very appreciative to Speaker Bonin and his staff for how closely they worked with us, and especially our Chief Financial Officer, Rebecca Kelly, on this part of the bill. We are in a much better place to continue to increase compensation for our teachers to remain, to remain near the top in the state. This would have not been possible without House Bill 3. House Bill 3 also funds career and technical education for 7th and 8th grade courses by giving it additional weighted funding, like the high school CTE courses. It increases funding to serve special needs children and students at risk of dropping out of school and students who are economically disadvantaged. For the first time ever, House Bill 3 establishes a new funding allotment towards services provided to dyslexia students. <laughs> Speaker Bonin was especially passionate about this part of the bill as he often shares his own struggles with dyslexia. We can all agree on the importance of a child learning to read. We know students must learn to read before they can read to learn. Literacy is the foundation of learning. House Bill 3 recognizes this and funds literacy supports for our teachers and provides money for early childhood education. This bill funds full day pre-kindergarten. Academics officer Ms. Clara Sell Davis. <laughs> Jump on Speaker Bonin when he came in. This is something we've been advocating for years and he got it done. 
House Bill 3 seeks to improve college career and military readiness for students. Local control is given to school districts to meet the unique needs of campuses, students, and staff. Because of the tremendous industrial growth in our particular area, we can prioritize funding towards high-wage, high-need areas for our students. This year, BISD students earned over 1,600 industry-based workforce certifications. House Bill 3 understands the importance of preparing students for careers as well as college and the military. These are not just two-year deals where the money's provided up until the next legislative session and we're all keeping our fingers crossed because we don't know where the money's going to come from the next two years. These were written into the school funding formulas. House Bill 3 establishes this is what and how districts will be funded and that it is fair and equitable. That's why this House Bill 3 is transformational. It impacts every property taxpayer, student, and teacher now and for future generations. Speaker Bonin provided, proved, Speaker Bonin proved that leadership matters. I think it's important for you to realize that standing up for education, for public education at times, can have political consequences. Politics, unfortunately, can be very dirty, where it seems character assassination and personal attacks are the norm now. Speaker Bonham stood in the face of this and continues to stand up to that. And he never wavered from the time is now. Speaker Bonham, we thank you for your courageous leadership. Thank you. President, Ms. Sherry Doss, to give Speaker Bonin a most deserving award. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you, Speaker Bonham, for all that you have 
done to help accomplish that you all that you have accomplished for the Texas children. That is ensuring our future is bright by educating our children. Thank you very much. 